This is David Goldman, Asia Times Deputy Editor, speaking to you from New York City the evening of July 22nd. The main problem facing equity markets today was pointed up by Unilever, which fell more than 6% in trading in London. That's after its chairman said that the rising cost of its material inputs would keep its profit margins flat at best for the rest of the year. And that's affecting a very wide range of companies without pricing power. The Russell 2000, which is a small cap index, is down almost 7% from its March high. Uh, Today, uh, the big tech companies, whose entire cost, of course, is the salary of software developers, uh, were doing better. They're less affected by this. If you look at the chart of the day, this shows the discrepancy between prices paid by businesses and the prices they can charge for finished products as measured by a survey of the Kansas City Federal Reserve. I showed you a very similar chart earlier this week from the Philadelphia Federal Reserve and pretty much all the data is coming in the same way. The scissors between what businesses pay for materials and what they can charge for finished products has opened to the worst levels that we have on record. And this is both bad for profit margins, it's bad for employment. So the market is still trying to figure out if the stag part of stagflation is the worst or the flation part of stagflation is the worst. We had a slightly worse than expected number for initial jobless claims, which made people wonder if the recovery is stalling. And of course, we'd had some bad consumer numbers in the past few days. It's very hard to know when consumers will push back. But the point is, you need to look for stocks that have good pricing power. Those that are caught in the squeeze are going to get worse. My favorite sector of the market remains mainland Chinese tech. Uh, Semiconductor manufacturers, battery manufacturers, Uh, alternative energy and so forth, they continue to be on a roll both in the Shenzhen market and in Hong Kong. Inflation is not going away. Earlier this week, we pointed to the bounce in uh, the cost of rent. According to uh, apartmentlist.com, rents are up about 10% between December and now. Zillow shows slightly better but not really much different numbers and that means the consumer price index is going to be grinding up and consumer budgets are going to be squeezed so careful about consumer discretionary names careful about even the consumer durables which may not be able to pass on all the prices um, and uh, uh, consumer staples Um, again we like energy We like materials, Uh, we still like banks, and above all, we like Chinese tech. This is David Goldman speaking to you from New York City on July 22nd.